the kids are awake. They are awake. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back again with another video. Um, I'm so nervous at the moment. I um, I've just been praying, begging God to answer these prayers. The reason is. I'm in front of a house that we're going to check out. Hopefully, we're going. I'm really hoping to get it. It's a three bedroom house. It would be perfect for us. And I'm really praying that the lady will be so gracious and we'll get it. There's so, so many people. There's so many people who are interested in it. And I'm just begging God to just put his favor on us and we get the house. Aki, it's so beautiful. I'm in love. And so yeah, our appointment is at um, 12.30, but it's 12.15 at the moment. I came early because you know, um, you, know you never know, like there'll be traffic or there, something will be up. I missed my suhoor. So I don't know how today is going to be. And I'm going to be super, super hungry. I already know that two children who are very very active and me by myself you know i'm going to be very tired very hungry and um yeah let's see what's going to happen maybe i'm going to take you through my day maybe not so let's see what's going to happen guess what my neighbor brought us this cake she's an old lady who really 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 loves my children <laughs> she always she's always bringing them presents so today we were in the balcony. My, you're going to fall. We were in the balcony and she rang the bell. And this was it. A huge 1000 gram um, cake. Now we are going to open it and try Hooray! it. <laughs> Hooray. Oh my goodness. It's a huge. Do you see my hand? It's a huge cake. <laughs> like a huge cupcake. This is how it's packaged. I just um, cut some vegetables. Okay, so hini, aubergine, sweet potato, and I added a half a red beet for Mariam's lunch. Mariam, no eating things on the floor, okay? No, 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 no. Huh? What did Baba tell you yesterday? Hmm? Yeah? You're twisting your heart, your thumb. And you, what are you doing? All clean now, thank God. Um, now I have to check up on this if the sweet potatoes are ready because definitely the aubergine and tzucchini really cook. <laughs> what it looks like unfortunately i lost track of the blending and it became super smooth but anyway she was still she's still going to eat it this, i like the color you know the red of the beetroot and the you know the sweet potato yeah i hope she'll really enjoy it she loved it she enjoyed it she's done i'm good with that children are having the snack this is the re um, rest of the smoothie that i made in the morning they're having this one now like a mm -hmm. like avocado yeah with avocado this i just folded these clothes we still have a bunch that are not dry so yeah this one's i'll fold them tomorrow when they when they're dry this is the bunch that is dry so this is a 10 hours later. I'm almost done with my fasting for today. Maghrib is in like 10 minutes. I'm so happy. I've never been happy like this. I'm so happy. I'm so hungry. I don't have energy. And uh, I'm already here up and down in the kitchen preparing what I'm going to have for uh, for um to up to break my fast with for my iftar. Nothing major. It's just chicken and some potatoes and green peas and i'm going to have it with simit i'm craving simit 
and I've already started preparing my tea cup is there with my chai Indian chai tea that I bought yesterday my dates and my water let me show you guys I'm super super hungry this is day two inshallah I want to pray to fast the whole of this week because I'm fasting and praying for something very important very important decision that I want Allah to you know help me and guide me to make this major decision and I really need this i'm really feeling fulfilled at this point actually praying all my prayers unfortunately i missed fajr today in the morning it's a long story it's a long story yeah so let me show you guys my tea water dates and then maybe later i'm going to show you what i'm going to have for iftar Water here. Water there. Yeah. Okay, this is water. This is my black chai tea that I bought yesterday. It's so good. Mashallah. These are the dates that I bought yesterday as well. And I'm going to just have one date. They are super, super sweet. And yesterday I had three and I was really <laughs> struggling to have them in, to swallow to put them down my throat. Yeah. It's been really long since I last fasted. That was before my son was born. It feels like, you know, something that is new to my life, even though I am supposed to have been used to it. But it's... Alhamdulillah. It's winter time right now, and I'm not fasting for 16 hours as we used to do in Ram during Ramadan. I'm just fasting for 10. So I'm just saying, Alhamdulillah, I'm not complaining, and I'm just, you know, grateful for everything. And what I learned is checking the date, you know, sometimes you have to, you know, check, cut the dates and check if they're okay, if they're not, if they don't have mold inside. So since I got, I saw some, some, I can't remember who did a YouTube video and saying that she had a bad experience with dates. So every time I, before I eat my dates, I have to open them, inspect them. And actually, run water down them. You want a date? Let me watch, wash them first. It's time to break my fast. The Adan just called, and I want to now boil water for my tea. I did it. I did it. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And I'm going to prepare my tea. I'm going to warm the food. When all that is like the tea is brewing or you know soaking in, the food is heating. I'll be praying Maghrib. When I'm done with my three rakats, I can come, put the food on a plate, sit down, and enjoy my food. I don't know about enjoying my food because the children around me on me on top of me i don't know how they enjoy my food but anyway the main thing is i have made it have done it day two is gone and we have still wednesday thursday of course friday i will not fast so because it's juma i think we're not supposed to fast on friday and then i'll continue Saturday, sunday and that will be it Oh, the iftar is ready nothing special but this is so tasty with my indian chai tea the best so let me dig in just finished praying isha alhamdulillah my head is paining i have a headache but i think it's due to lack of water so i have some mangoes here i made them for mala during the day i mixed some mango pieces with yogurt but he didn't really like them so i've been they've been on my mind the whole day so i'm going to enjoy right now these mangoes and i think that's that i'm not going to pick up the camera again maybe till tomorrow before fajr mm. 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 
is actually a very good idea. Mango with yogurt, natural yogurt, Greek yogurt. I bought this in Istanbul like long, long time ago. I think in 2018. Assalamu alaikum, hey y'all. I hope you're having a good day, morning, night, afternoon. So, I just had my sword today. I didn't get late. I think it's already time for Fajr now. I'm going to pray Fajr. The kids are awake. They are awake. I think it's 9 o'clock in the morning. So, I'm going to pray Fajr. My Torah cast, and I'm going to go back to bed, hopefully. They will also go to bed and sleep for like, you know, two hours or something. I'm so grateful that I was able to wake up today for Suhoor and for Fajr. And I hope you are as well. So I'm just done praying Fajr. I'm super full. My stomach is full. I feel like my food is just here. I am super full. And I hope that will keep me the whole day till... Um, it's time to break my fast. Inshallah, it will be easier for me today. May Allah make it easier for me today. And for all of you who are fasting as well, take heart. May Allah make it easy for you. And yeah. This is what I came up with today. I fried some chicken and added some cream fresh. I'm not showing myself because I'm not wearing hijab at the moment. And my tea is here like brewing and I'm going to break my fast with three dates. I always put them in water as I told you yesterday guys. Break them to see if they are... Um, um, I can't even talk. <laughs> To see whether they are okay they are good inside or not and i think i'm going to finish my banana milk that i started drinking today morning for suhoor so i just completed my isha salah my face is pretty dry you can tell so i bought this new Garnier product I hope it helps because till now I'm not really seeing any any advancement. It's, it's a charcoal serum. So this is what I normally use mornings and evenings. So after this I'm going to make for Mariam Haparage. Uh, my good night porridge since it's almost happy time yeah and we'll call it a day till tomorrow good night good day and thank you so for supporting me i appreciate your support some vaseline on my lips they're very dry <laughs> I think it's lack of water, lack of eating, lack of saliva circulation in my mouth, but we are grateful. I am grateful, alhamdulillah. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Salam alaikum, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. So today is a different setting, even though it's fasting for me, day four. I'm not in the kitchen today. I am at the doctor's. Um, I have an appointment Early morning at 8 o'clock, it's now 5 to 8. Mariam has her, you know, normal children's appointment. And that's where I brought her. 
so that means i woke up for early in the morning to have suhoor and after i prayed fajr we didn't go back to sleep i had to dress them give them breakfast and out and about you were. and the thing is it's snowing i don't know i know you can see here on this car it's snowing and uh, but alhamdulillah we are here and i hope everything will be okay inshallah assalamu alaikum everybody it's another iftar after iftar i just prayed my um prayer and the prayers that i missed because as you know today i took mariam to the doctor to get her vaccines and they double shotted on both legs and you know it was too much for her she only only wanted me to carry her and now i am just waiting for isha and this day will be done inshallah tomorrow i'm not fasting because it's a friday saturday again i'll resume with the fasting and sunday inshallah i hope you guys are all okay snowing outside it's really really cold we have the cash from showing me that we have one degree outside so the, all of this bag is what i bought plus some pizza and uh, ginger ale that i really really am craving it's a lot of stuff with two children and, and yeah and broccoli yeah so i'm going to have breakfast now imagine it's Currently one o'clock and it's when I'm having breakfast. Mom life. Hi guys, salam alaikum. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for tuning back and uh, coming to my channel, watching my videos. I really, really do appreciate your support. I'm so, subscribing. you what? I'm and subscribing. <laughs> That's what my name is saying. So I'm basically here actually to give an update on my fasting i wanted actually to fast from monday to sunday i got to fast monday thursday friday i didn't fast because it was a friday juma saturday sunday i was not able to fast i couldn't i was not able to, to fast may allah forgive me and may allah give me strength to be able to fast longer more days and up to this time actually it's i was able to figure out what i was really praying and fasting for two of the things to act it was only these two things that were major confusing at that point when i said i wanted to fast guess what on that monday when i woke up in the morning my phone had a voicemail voice message i listened to it it is the kindergarten that i'd been praying for my son to join they call me to ask me whether i'm still interested to have my my son go to that kindergarten i couldn't believe my ears so i immediately called them and they were like yeah hi we called you and unfortunately you, you know uh, are you still interested interested in having your son coming to our kindergarten i was like oh my god subhanallah i was like yes so she was like yeah we have actually all the documents the only thing that we are missing are the booking hours like the, the times i want um malang to be in the kindergarten so i was like yeah at the moment actually my to be like true my printer is not working i don't know for some reason it's not printing our documents but like uh, photocopying and all of that it's doing so i was like can i come over she was like it's okay even if you tell me right now over the phone it will do i'm like okay so i gave her the hours that i need malang to be in the kindergarten and the next thing that i was praying for exactly yay you're going to be in kindergarten soon the next thing i was really praying for mm -hmm, was the house as you all know if you've been watching this channel uh we are four people and in a considerably small house because the rent prices are unbearable in this part of the country we live in so uh yeah, so i was praying for this amazing apartment that we had seen on the internet so at the beginning of the video you see me praying and saying oh my god you're going to check this out and i asked god if it is the best thing for us if it's not please god remove it if it's not good for us for our future family 
please remove this and show me exactly that it's not for us and a few days later i saw it back on ebay it, it had actually been removed and i was like okay maybe we'll get it but a few days later after going to view the apartment and whatnot we submitted our the documents that they needed i saw it back on on ebay so this was a sign for me that the owner of the apartment didn't approve of us and it's okay that's why i was praying and fasting telling god to asking god whatever the circumstance let me be okay with it and let me know it's okay like god's timing is the best if we have a bigger apartment soon so be it if not let us be content and just wait for the perfect timing so that was it this is the update that i wanted to give you and i really hope you enjoyed this video and um yeah i really really thank you for your support thank you so much for tuning in and until next time, kaheria kwa nana.